Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought, because it's been a little while since I've uploaded, apologies for that, I thought I would do a little day in my life and also just a catch up on what's been going on in my life. So as usual, I've just been a total CEO and have been enjoying running my new business. We're now obviously in 2024 and one of my goals for 2024 has been to basically make my business better and just expand on what I've on what I built last year and part of that has been to grow a team which is super exciting but I feel like I've kind of been going through a bit of a transitional period with that and everything's kind of leveled out now like everyone kind of has their own role so that's good so I'll have more time to make content going forward hopefully fingers crossed so other than that skin update because I guess in my last videos I spoke a lot about that and how I was really bummed out at my skin it's a lot better I've been getting facials I've been eating better as well this actually is bad compared to how it was I don't have any makeup on at the moment and I've woken up and I've got a couple of yeah anyway I think it's because I had a meal out which wasn't great I don't I don't really know anyway we're feeling better about that we're feeling better in general to be honest not that I was feeling particularly bad but you know what I've realized recently this is like what I've wanted for so long like this is the life I've wanted I've always wanted to run my own business I've always wanted to feel comfortable and confident in myself and my body and I promise you that I do I still have some glimpses sometimes where I'm like am I an adult am I human like and I get nervous about things and I think sometimes I retreat back to my mindset whenever I was more insecure and not healthy not looking after myself and there's a little bit of my brain that still thinks like that and operates like that and then I have to snap myself out a bit out of it and remember that I am a bad bitch <laughs> so yeah so we've remembered we're a bad bitch and um yeah I'm feeling good so this morning I'm gonna go for a coffee with my friend Rita we're gonna catch up I'm not gonna wear makeup I did want to put a bit of concealer on these two breakouts but fuck it Sulavu, as the French would say. If you know that meme, we can be friends. One thing that I have noticed about my flat is that since I moved in, which it's been about six months now, I think, everything has been so functional and I am super minimalist and I do love how everything's so clean and simple, but it is lacking like a relaxation or it was lacking like a relaxation area. I've actually bought a TV, it's on the way and it's gonna go over here, which is exciting. And then I also bought myself some cushions. I've ordered some, I'm super all or nothing. So whenever I get an idea in my head, I just go all out and, so I bought all of those cushions yesterday. I've also ordered three more <laughs> to uh, create a little ensemble. I've also been thinking I might add some gold, like some gold trims or something. Trimming, tassels, you know the drill, just to liven the place up a bit. So I've realized that for the past year, I've basically done nothing but work. So whether it was working in a pub and then going home and working on my business, and I didn't have any time for myself. I also didn't have any money to do anything. So I couldn't really go out with my friends or, and socialize. And so I'm trying to enjoy the fruits of my labor, but also I, this next coming year, I do wanna be investing back into my business. So it's a delicate balance between enjoying myself and also being sensible. And we definitely are being sensible. So, what I have done, I've bought a TV for some entertainment in the evenings. And I've also booked a trip away with my friend Ellie to Northern Ireland. If you don't know, both my parents are from Northern Ireland, so I have a lot of family over there. So it won't be the most expensive trip in the world. The flights were, I think like, was it like 50 quid each? Something crazy like that. But it's just an opportunity for me to go away and have a bit of fun. I will probably work whilst I'm over there. I'll take my laptop. But I just wanna do things like that. Like I wanna say yes to more things this year. I just wanna have fun. I'm gonna work bloody hard as well, but I wanna have fun. And that's what I'm gonna do. Also a little body oddy update. I am feeling the best I think I ever have in my life. And it's just as well because I have booked a photo shoot so that I can update my website. It's not gonna be like a photo shoot. It's gonna be like a professional, minimalist i'm very excited for it 
so i'm glad that i'm feeling good i've got to get some i think most of the outfits are like finalized i've also booked an mua for the first time in my life i am becoming a proper adult and it's only taken 30 years <laughs> so i'm kind of fine tuning everything i also created a little countdown so how many days do we have left one two three four nine days until the shoot and yeah and then i have a brand new website coming new pictures and i'm feeling i don't really i hate kind of i like the pictures after but i don't really like having my picture taken i feel a little bit awkward so i'm not especially looking forward to that part but i'm looking forward to the result if that makes sense Hello everyone, so it is technically the next day. I, you know what, I find daily vlogs really hard because I kind of get distracted and things happen, um, such as life. So I thought I would just continue the vlog the next day, potentially the next day as well. So we'll see how that goes. But one thing, and I do want to make a YouTube video about this specifically. So I haven't drank alcohol since November. It's now end of January. And I feel like the main thing really about not drinking alcohol for me has been the mental clarity that comes with it. And I've spoken to my friend who has also stopped drinking recently. And there are so many things, even in terms of like dating, like we a voice note back and forth, me and my friend. And she said to me in the voice note, she was like, whenever you're on a date, sometimes you leave the date and feel like, oh my God, I had a really nice time. He's really nice. But was it that you had a nice time with your day and that you're compatible with your day or is it that you just got pissed and had a nice time getting pissed um so i really think it leaves space for you to like just think of things more clearly and more rationally and one thing that has i don't know if this is as a result of not drinking but it literally came to me like a couple of days ago one thing that i do which i I really want to get out of the habit of doing is I buy food all the time on the go even food that like is very easy to make at home so like sandwiches and toast and I always like I spend so much money doing it and I always think to myself like why do I always have this like impulse to do it and you know what I've realized I've realized because obviously if you've watched my previous videos you know that I've had a history of years ago of um disordered eating and yo-yo dieting and all of this stuff that i never really think about now like it doesn't impact my day-to-day -day life i feel like i live very healthily and very balanced but obviously there are bound to be things from those days and those thoughts where um it kind of still lingers like subconsciously or consciously and one thing i think that has lingered for me is the reason why i think i buy so much food when i'm out is because i haven't been trusting myself to do an appropriate portion size at home and that sounds a bit confusing maybe but so my history is that i used to binge eat a lot and so it used to really panic me the thought of buying food in bulk and that the there being food in my cupboards or food left over and it used to really stress me because I knew that I couldn't help myself but eat it and I have realized that that has been in the back of my head whereas if I go out and buy something the portion's there and I can't eat anymore and so since I've realized that literally only a couple of days ago it's like it's switched in my head and I'm like Laura but you can because we've done so much work and you're so much you don't have that same state of mind and you know when to stop when you're full and so ever since then I've been eating at home and it hasn't even, like, I haven't even considered eating out. <laughs> Do you know the money I would have saved if I would have thought of that sooner? So annoying. Anyway, we're all, we're still growing. It's fine. But today I am 
mostly doing work. I'm gonna go walk into town and get some, you know, whenever you have like a list of things that you need to buy, like moisturizer, just like daily admin things, I'm gonna do that. But yeah, a very average basic day in my life. And you know what? I love my average basic days. I love them. I love my, what's that TikTok song? I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> I saw this on TikTok, so usually I have a salmon bagel and I just keep it really simple. But I thought I would mix in some cream cheese with red onion and avocado. And it looks banging, I have to say. Hello, it's Sunday and on the rare occasion I have put makeup on. So my dad had like a work event basically. So I went there and it's to do with football and football really isn't my cup of tea. So I went at half time and I had a bacon sandwich, had a couple of cups of tea and Sunday is like my reset day. So I've just finished planning my week on my laptop. I have organized everything basically from what I'm going to post on social media to work to life admin bits and it just makes me feel kind of set for the week ahead. This time next week I've got my photo shoot for my new website so that I am looking forward to it but also like as I mentioned previously I'm not the most comfortable with taking pictures so um, talking to camera, like I feel like I'm more comfortable weirdly, even though I'm literally just talking to my hand. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited to see the result. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean my flat and then my friend Ellie is coming over. I'm gonna have dinner. So I'll show you all of that. But I think now is the time to say goodbye because my arm is hurting, but I'll show you the rest of my evening, how I wind down. Yeah, and then I'm ready for the week ahead. But I hope that you enjoyed this vlog anyway. I'm getting cramp in my hand, ow, I'm gonna have to switch it. I hope that you enjoyed the vlog. Um, let me know what else you wanna see. I'm gonna start doing a mixture of different content styles because a part of me is like, oh, I wanna kind of stick to like either talking or, um, or vlogs or workouts or, and you know what I've realized? I think a mix is just more authentic probably. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna mix it up definitely will be posting more content I know I said that all the time but I'm going to promise um yeah it's just it's been down to time really but I'm trying to make more time for it so yeah let me know what you want to see and have a lovely day Mwah. Zoom.